What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to another new series I'm starting on the channel where I basically go over two different budget builds under $1000 at the beginning of every month. I decided to do this just from reading your messages and comments that I get every day because apparently my monthly PC builds aren't enough for you guys and you want to see more PC content so I figured this would be a great way to add more of that on TechSource. So if this is something you guys want to see done every single month on the channel, make sure to leave a like and also drop your feedback down below after you're done watching the video because this is the first episode and it's not perfect. So I'll be reading your feedback and your comments just to tweak it a bit and make this series perfect for you guys. But without wasting any more time, let's take a look at these builds. So the two PC builds that we are looking at today are a $530 PC and an $800 build. Please keep in mind that these are the parts that I would personally use if I were to build one for myself and these are based on price per performance. So basically the best bang for your buck. Starting with the 530 build which is another version of Volt which I recently built on the channel and the total cost is $530.42 plus tax and shipping but please keep in mind that prices always change depending on when you're watching this video. So once again we're going with an FX6300 processor but instead we're pairing it with the GTX 960. You get a solid quad core CPU which will run pretty much any game in 1080p and it's also great for productivity and editing videos. I always try and overclock my processors to always squeeze out the most performance which is why I went with an unlocked chipset motherboard, the Gigabyte 78LMT which is inexpensive but very solid. Obviously since I plan on overclocking I had to pick up a cooler to keep the temps low and ensure the processor lives a long and healthy life. If you don't plan on overclocking you can skip over the cooler which will save you $30 bringing the total cost of this build down to only $500. But it's only $30 and the performance you gain from it is worth it, at least it is for me. For RAM, we are sticking to the popular 4GB sticks from Crucial for a total of 8GB and 1TB of hard drive space from Seagate. If you want to throw in an SSD instead, there is a super cheap option via PNY where you can get a 240GB SSD for only $60 and I will leave a link to everything mentioned in this video down below for you guys. And finally putting all of these parts together we are using the RAID Max Vortex case just like I did for Volt since it really looks cool and the price is affordable. Going over 500 watts for this build is overkill and while you can go with a 430 watt from EVGA for $5 less, it doesn't make sense not to make the 50 watt upgrade. The only real difference between this build and Volt is the GPU and motherboard. If you have a bit more moolah to spend and are looking to push more pixels than this, is the build you want. An $800 gaming PC rocking a 4690K and a GTX 970. As always I want to overclock my CPU which is why I went with the K version of the 4690 but if you want to save $40 and don't want to overclock you can actually ditch the CPU cooler and go with a non-K version of the CPU. That will drop the total cost of this build down to 746. You can also go with a Fractal Core 1000 case if that looks better for you. But anyways back to the build, for the RAM I decided to switch things up and go with 8GB of RAM from G-Skill Ripjaws and for storage we are going the SSD route with 480GB of space from PNY. For the case I went with the Zalman ATX case since we have a micro ATX board and it does come with a USB 3.0 port for the front panel which is nice since the motherboard does feature onboard USB 3.0. Deucing up all of these parts is the EVGA 500 watt power supply once again which brings the total to 787 and 10 cents. But that will do it for this month as always if you guys enjoy this and want to see it done every month make sure to leave a like and let me know what price range I should work on for my next two PCs for next month. That's basically it thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.